All right, let's jump into these messages. Capricorns, calling all Capricorns. What's up, y'all? Welcome back. Thank you for watching my channel. She's got the gift. Capricorn, I'm back with messages for you. Energy check-in, okay? So we can keep you on your toes. Keep you 10 steps ahead. Please take what resonates from these messages. Leave the rest right on where it's at, Capricorn. If you're seeking a personal reading, my website will be linked down below in the description box. Also, if you want to see more content, from me you're always welcome over there i would always appreciate your presence over there on patreon and also tiktok and last but not least before i jump into your messages i have to give a beautiful big shout out to this beautiful rose company right here that goes by the name rose forever capricorn go ahead and smell it do you smell what i smell mm -hmm. do you feel what i feel yes baby capricorn this rose company that goes by the name rose forever sent me this just in time for the holidays y'all already know that thanksgiving is right around the corner i'm putting that in the middle of the table perfect decoration right you guys this company specialize in making these roses here because they 100 real and vegan but the, that's not what get it the thing that gets me capricorn this company these roses last all year round okay and they do have amazing sales going on at this time so don't forget to stop by and check it out their website will be linked down below followed by a discount code you don't forget to use my discount code which is gift 40 you'll receive 40 percent off and if it's your very first time dealing with this company there's more discounts to come you guys just stop by and check out their website they have more colors variety you will We'll fall in love warning okay let's jump into your messages capricorn spirit holy angels i call upon you at this time for the sign of capricorns allow me insight for them please and thank you i welcome you in at this time for guidance protect us angels protect our foundation and our loved ones allow no weapon that's being formed to come against us to prosper all black magic evil entities spell work being sent our way negative energies monitoring spirits are to be blocked immediately in return thank you I'm a bad look, and I'm sniffed like a Barbie. Hips, lips, uh, 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 I'm a favorite mother. Hello, mother. Uh-oh. Mm. Um, you got the full card showing up, Capricorn. You could be dealing with Aquarius. You can have Aquarius in your chart. I'm also picking up strong Aries energy, okay? Uh, Justice here showing up. But what concerns me, though, is this Queen of Swords here showing up in reverse position. The reason why I say that because whoever you are, um, I'm picking up an energy that like somebody is not taking like I don't want to say not taking care of themselves. I want to say not sticking up for themselves. Like I don't know if you feel like because I feel like your angels are telling you that something needs to be said, something needs to give with this whole situation. It needs to be balanced out at this time. Somebody Capricorn could be playing you like a fool, okay? But a person is only gonna do. So allow, do what you allow them to do with the Queen of Swords here showing up in reverse position. Now, don't get me wrong, Capricorn. I could be talking to you. You could be playing somebody like a fool, okay? Um, I suggest you go watch your last couple of readings that I posted for you so that you could get those messages and fully put your puzzle together. Let's jump into it a little bit more, though. Show me more spirit angels on this fool. Insight on the fool. Inside on the fool, spirit angels. Fool for Capricorn. Um, Queen of Swords here showed up in reverse position. I mean, upright again. Show me more on this. Um, yeah, yeah, heavy Libra out here. Justice showing up, Queen of Swords twice. Um, it could be like a female going at it, two females going at it at this time, one person not sticking up for themselves, and the other person here is like going all in on them. I just get an energy here, Capricorn. I don't know if this is you or not. I get an energy of somebody like taking advantage of, the, of someone else, cussing them out or something like that. Mm. You got the Nine of Pentacles here showing up. The Ace of Wands here showing up. And then, behold, the King of Swords. This, this got something to do with um, someone's like... Somebody is trying to get their, affair, their, their affairs in order here. Um, 
spirit is saying that somebody wants to move on somebody wants to close something out and go towards something new i don't know if you two have assets between each you between each other here that needs to be settled out give me one more on this nine of pentacles it's like something needs to be settled before somebody here can make this move that they're trying to make yeah four cups somebody here is holding on to someone by the assets like a I don't know if it's something in someone's name, like you, you put something in someone's name. Um, you know, you can have so much money and you decide, okay, I'm gonna put it in this person's name just in case somebody here try to come after me. They won't, it, it's giving that type of energy, but whoever this is, is holding this back purposely. I feel like it's because you want to move on. One on this ace of wands. The fool, you can't make it up. Queen of Pentacles, yeah. This could be another earth sign that's, that's holding on to assets of yours or holding on to something of yours. I'm strongly picking up whoever it is. Show me more on this masculine. Inside on the King of Swords, what does he have to do with this? He could be a Leo. He could be an Aquarius. Mmm. Somebody is like realizing somebody again, somebody is like trying to let something go, but the other person got something against them where it's, it's hard for this person to walk out. Like they got something of yours where it's making it hard for you to let go or walk out, walk away. Show me more on this Queen of Swords energy in reverse. Why is this Queen of Swords in reverse now? The Wheel of Fortune, the Six of Pentacles. So she ended up not getting what she wanted. Something ends up like um, expiring or somebody saying uh, F it. Like, you know what I'm saying? F the assets here or F whatever we got going, whatever we had, this this investment or whatever this is that we've been working on, I'd rather just let it go. This is, how the, this is why this person here feel some type of way this feminine energy feels some type of way because i feel like the masculine wants to close something out don't get me wrong this could be you know this could be the feminine in this type of energy i just feel like because the queen of swords is showing up here in reverse position king of swords over here is upright but the king of swords is the one that's making these sacrifices here and dropping something he like he just wants to be happy somebody just wants to be happy and this person has been holding it you are you are they've been holding you back was something over like they got it's something about your stability it's tangible something money show me more on this it's like it's hard for you to walk away because of whatever she got whatever she holding on to or whatever he holding on to uh the three of cups here showed up wow three of cups six of pentacles here with the world so she could be mad somebody is getting dropped Whoever this is trying to walk away from her, she mad because she's she's the one on the outside now. Show me more. Eight of Pentacles. Ooh, wee. Now the Earth sign is significant here. Inside on this Three of Cups. Who is the Three of Cups energy? Who is this? Three of Pentacles, somebody you work with or somebody your person work with, but you got the Three of Swords out here too. I don't know if this is the main piece or the side piece. I just know Six of Cups, this the main piece. Queen of Wands. Mmm. Libra feminine could be getting dropped by a Capricorn masculine. Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius could be getting dropped by a, a Capricorn masculine. And they and they feelings over this. They could have met at work or started working together, but then they started sleeping together. You know what they say? You never shit where you sleep, you know? Never shit where you eat. You know the saying? Yeah, this got something to do with somebody's work environment. Somebody sleeping with somebody that they start working with. And now the person here feels left out because this person knows that they got to let something go in order to move on and 
do better. Or they don't want to be with this person no more. They want to be with somebody new with this Ace of Wands over here. Or go to a new job site, work somewhere else. And now somebody feels some type of way about it. Insight on Justice. Insight on Justice. 66 here is showing up. 33, 66. The Six of Swords is clarified with justice. The best thing for someone to do is get away, is move on to common waters because it ain't. It's just messy over here. Something is messy. Yeah, the star. Somebody ends up like dropping it anyway. It's like somebody, whoever this is, has been trying to hold somebody back or hold something to get somebody. It's an investment, some money or something. I don't know if y'all created a project together and money started flowing and you know you wanted to back out of the project, whatever it is. And this person is like, okay, well, you can't. I got this or we got this together. So you, it's hard for you to back out. Somebody is like, fuck it. You can have it. You can have it all. I don't want to go to court for it. I don't want to fight for it. It's yours. I'm just going to move on with my life. And somebody is having a breakdown over that shit. But whoever this is that's moving on, they getting what they want because they do they big they being a the bigger person. One more. King of Cups here showing up. Wow. Six of Wands, yep. Somebody wasn't happy with somebody anyway. If even if this is a job site, you weren't happy there. You was getting overlooked. You was being overworked for a little bit of nothing. If uh what's the outcome? I see you moving on. <clears throat> or this person moving on from you. Okay. Page of cup, uh, page of swords here showing up, and uh, the four of pentacles. You're gonna have a, a stalker for the rest of your life. You're gonna have somebody here purposely holding on to your energy, purposely holding on to something that belongs to you for the rest of your life because they mad. They mad. Whoever this Libra feminine is or whoever this woman is that got air in her chart. But at the end of the day, she don't, she or he don't even have to be an air sign. It's just a mental thing. Like they trying to come up with ways to make you fail. But at the end of it all, they're failing. Advice for Capricorn? Ace of Swords here. Um... King of Pentacles here with the Empress as your advice. Wow, I could be talking to a fem feminine Capricorn, masculine Capricorn. It don't matter. Y'all could just be operating in opposite, opposite energies because of the circumstances that y'all under right now. Um, but they said stay true to yourself. Stand up and take accountability or get on. Um, do what makes you happy. Start your own business. Um, start making money for yourself because it's got something to do with your finances here growing and some being stopped and you always doing something and holding on to something too long and somebody is not seeing your worth. So you get what I'm saying? They saying here your advice is to continue to stay Continue to stand ten toes down, Capricorn. Never step off your throne to address a pre a peasant. Just period. I love you. I'm leaving it there, babe. So I hope this helped you. I hope you got some type of peace and clarity. If you did, please don't forget to hit the like, the comment, and subscribe button. Until next time, y'all. Peace.